Hey, and they don't look so new. Oh, I don't know. Um, uh, okay. Oh, you can just lock the inside. Okay. Okay. Everyone hear me? Alright. Yeah, these are Honda Ray Support 20s. They're 2007. We got them in May. I know they're a little bit dirty, but it's kind of beautiful to watch them because it's pretty dusty out there. One thing I'm required to show you guys is this knob right here. I need everybody to look at this knob right here. It is zip tied in a four wheel drive. Go ahead and just leave that zip tied in the four wheel drive the whole time. These bikes will not make the trail in two wheel drive. And if I see this knob removed and put in two wheel drive, I am required to pull your key. Good to go. So just forget about the knob altogether. Okay. All right. Get on these bikes. First thing I want you guys to do is locate these metal foot pegs on the side. That is what is going to support you on this ride. These things are welded to the frame, and that's what supports you. The plastic is just to keep debris out. Good to go. So don't put your feet on the plastic, because your feet could possibly go through on a bump or something. All right. Um, your steering. And this is like a little arrow. Of course, you know. Use your steering wheel. You're going to turn left. You're going to turn right. What you do on your bike? So I want you guys to get kind of comfortable with the steering. Turn left, turn right. The major part of this whole course, so you're going to have to go all the way left and all the way right, is this first little S curves on our practice course. So you wanted to go all the way left and all the way right with your steering handles. So just be prepared for that. And it's kind of like, kind of physical activity, but it's minor. Not so hard to operate. But yeah, everyone know how to steer. Yeah? All right. Brakes, guys. Very, very important. We're going to go over these now. On the right side of these bikes, we have a pedal brake. You can either take my word for it or come check it out. It's a few. It's really not used for stopping. We like, it's kind of adopted the name picture brake. Say you want to stop and take a picture or fix your goggles or something and take your hands off these. Take your foot on that, you're not going to roll anywhere. But the second you take your foot off this, you will roll. And uh, once again, don't take a picture of the top of the hill, middle of the or the bottom of the hill, just for common sense purposes. Good to go. Okay. On the right side is the front brake, on the left side is the back brake. It really doesn't matter which brake you pull. I've never seen anyone fly over the handlebars if they just pull the front brake. We're on a four wheel drive, any brake you pull will slow you down completely. And for extra stopping power, pull both brakes. Good to go. Everyone know how to stop. Very important. Very, very, very important. Last but not least, we have a parking brake, guys. If you guys want to check this out, it's like a three step process. Kind of gather around up front. Um, step one, you pull this lever all the way back to the handle. Step two, use your other hand. Set into a little notch. Last but not least, most important, let go with your left hand first. You're set, you're not rolling anywhere. Your bike is not rolling down a hill, no one's chasing them bikes down hills. You're set. And you will know it's set because your hand will barely fit in here. And to disengage this parking brake, you just squeeze it one time, it pops right out. You're ready to roll again. Good to go. All right, well, let's turn these on. If you guys want to come back around so you can see the LED display right here. This is your key right here, guys. It's more like an on and off switch, wakes up the electricity. You flip that switch on, and bam, right here in your gear position box, you'll see an N, which stands for neutral. These bikes only start in neutral, so I'm going to ask you guys to turn them off in neutral. Um, so once you see your neutral sign, we are ready to start the bikes. There's a black button right here with a lightning bolt on it. That is what starts them. You can push it one time. Starts right up. Good to go. All right. This is your throttle right here, guys. Obviously, gas pedal makes you go that way. My advice to you is use the majority of your thumb on this thing because if you have the tip of your thumb on this thing and you're going to bounce, you're going to bounce off. It's going to bounce back and forth and bobble head and whatever. So if you have the whole thumb on this thing, be real smooth and consistent. Like so. I don't ever want to see anybody doing this. For one, smoke. Two, you'll be going that way very, very quickly. Understand? Just be real smooth and tune along, all right? All right. When we're ready to go, guys, I'm going to tell you guys to throw in the second gear. I want you to hold a brake. It doesn't matter which brake, but I want you to hold a brake because first gear jumps a little bit like so. Kind of minor, yeah? But then go directly in the second gear. Of course, shift up to second, down, back into neutral, yeah? So once we're in second gear, we're ready to roll. You can leave it in the second gear the whole time. These bikes will make it in second gear the whole time. I recommend you leave them in second gear the whole time just for less work on you guys. Um, you'll get more power going up hills. You'll get more engine brake going down hills. So uh, yeah, go ahead and just leave them in second. Sure. All right. When we're ready to get off our bikes, Maddie's going to give you the kill it sign, which is like this. You probably won't be able to hear. 
because you got the helmets on and you got all these bikes going. So once he starts to kill it, you're gonna shift down twice back into neutral, turn your key off, set your parking brake. And you're good to go. Any questions? I hope no. You hope no? I'm gonna go over <laughs> one start with you. Um, I know I told you guys about off-camera turns. Say the bike is leaning to the right. All you gotta do is put your weight on the left side. Can you guys hear me? Oh, you're in. That's it. Um, yeah, if the bike's leaning to the right, just put your weight on the left side. And all four wheels are going to stay on the ground. Um, also, these bikes do come with shocks, but some of the best shocks on these bikes are your arms and your legs. So if you want to ride standing up and kind of go with the bumps, it makes for a lot smoother, a lot more comfortable ride. Alleviates a lot of stress and bounce your neck and your back and whatnot. So only if you're comfortable, but if you're not, you can sit on these things, just kind of grip them like a horse. If you've ridden a horse before, you just kind of go with the bumps. It's fun also, but yeah. Standing up is the way to go. I ride standing up most of the time. But, back to, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Any questions? None at all.